What is up, YouTube? This is the Asian dude, and I'm gonna bring you guys my run defense on uh, what I like to run when it comes to strong power and uh, the halfback counter thing. <clears throat> so, we'll jump right into it. Um, we're gonna be in Big Nickel Bear, and the pl uh, yeah, Big Nickel Bear, and I like cover three. Um, I guess it doesn't really matter on what you choose, but um, yeah, so we'll go to Pistol Ace, and we'll go to Strong Power for now. So, what I do is I spread the D-line and crash them, uh, yeah, no, edge rush, yeah, do the edge rush where they blitz outside, and uh, with this uh, linebacker on the outside right here playing as, like, the defensive line, um, I put him in a spy just in case it's a pass and you got, like, a running quarterback like Russell Wilson, and all you want to do is just bring out the light blues, you want to bring out the light blues outside, um, just like this and uh, this is for uh, pistol ace okay um, this doesn't necessarily work for all the pistol formations just this is just for pistol ace and uh, we'll run the strong counter and you want to use the middle linebacker and pursue the ball so don't over pursue but run in there um, run in there holding a so like so you don't don't try to hit stick or anything because if you miss um, your opponent will get a nice chunk of yardage and you know what, that's not good, so anyways, um, this is what the setup should look like, or if you don't have a running quarterback, then like, put him in a purple hook, doesn't really matter, um, but, so anyways, I'll run the play again, and just pursue the ball carrier, and, uh, yeah, just pursue the ball carrier, and your opponent has nowhere to go. And I'm making this video because lots of people requested run defense because I guess they're struggling on run defense, which is understandable because it is uh, kind of hard to stop run runs this uh, this game. So we'll flip the play, we'll flip the play, and we'll run it again. Just pursue the ball carrier. I mean, uh, look at that. Uh, sometimes you will your opponent will break feet, break free, but that does happen. Um, from time to time, uh, I pressed right now, as you guys can see. Um, sometimes I like to press if they don't have fast receivers. Like uh, Skandrick, I'm pretty sure you could uh, stick with Curse. And Brandon Carr, uh, I'm pretty sure you could stick with Baldwin um, if they do pass. But I doubt the chances of them even passing the ball deep like that is kind of low. So, anyways, um, we'll run the oh. I thought we were running to the other side, but anyways, yeah, just pursue the ball carrier. Just pursue the ball carrier, and uh, you'll be good to go. Uh, I'll do it a couple more times. Because I know strong power and halfback counter this game are really overpowered, just like last year. So we'll flip the play, go run to the left side. Yeah, run to the left side, and um, yeah, just pursue the ball carrier and like uh, take up the blocking space. So one person will get free eventually and um we'll go into pistol ace twins next because i know lots of people run or you know actually we'll go into halfback counter so now the thing about halfback counter is it sucks in your linebackers it sucks in your linebackers the opposite way um even if they have 99 play reg the chances of them like identifying that uh, counter is kind of slim so we're on the same setup. We're in half. We're doing halfback counter. So we'll do the same setup. And you guys see the halfback counter. So we'll run it. And this time I wasn't using a middle linebacker, so I couldn't fill in the hole. But um, we'll try that again. So like when you here, let me see if let me go to it's a replay and show you guys what I'm talking about. So you guys see. The counter goes to the left, right? He takes a step to the left and goes back to the right. Look at how many people, look at how many people step to the left. So they step to the left thinking it's gonna go that way, but it's actually a counter, so it's like, they're already out of the uh, position to make the play, so. You gotta watch out for that when you're doing this, uh, when you're going up against counters. So, um, this is the defense what you want, and halfback counter, so we'll run the play, and just, yeah, I mean, just stop the run, um, there's really nothing else, uh, you just gotta get everyone set, um, 
Yeah, just get everyone all set, so you'll be good to go. We'll run to the right side and um, just stuff the run. I mean, right there, uh, that once again, that does happen from time to time. Um, but you just gotta deal with it because eventually, like, even if you stop the run, 99% of the time, there's that always, there's that 1% chance that your opponent will get that one big run. And um, you gotta have someone, you gotta have like the safeties and all them with like lots of strength and block sheds. So like right there, the linebacker in number 54, he, he can't shut the block so like, like he couldn't shut the block so easy so. Um, yeah. We'll run a couple more times then we'll go into some other pistol formation. And we've been having trouble on the right side and that's because of Church, Barry Church and Bruce Carter. So, what I did now is I pinched the line down, and we'll see if that makes any difference. So, um, yeah, that did make a little bit difference. It clogged the middle up for sure. And as long as the linebacker on the outside and the strong safety um, seals the edge on the outside, on the, yeah, and you'll be good to go. So, um, Ace Twins, kind of same, but Pistol Bunch tight end now. This is a really good formation. Uh, that lots of people run, so we're going to strong power real quick. And basically the same setup, have the same setup, except this time, crash the D-line down. And in this situation, I'll even, I'll put a purple or a hook zone. So we're going to, we'll just do flat for now. And in this situation, um, just do the same thing, just do the same thing. And, um... We'll see what happens. Right there, I just I wasn't using the middle linebacker, so I got I couldn't step the hole. So we'll try it again. Spread D line, spread linebackers. Um, just like that. And um, just stuff the hole. Just, yeah, just stuff the hole. I mean the cornerback it sort of comes in free. So um, like if like in this situation what I always do and I'm not even joking with you guys what I always do is uh, I'll set this up right um, bring this guy down bring this guy down and out and in this situation I know that the chances of them going deep is slim or to the right side at least right now I put him in a purple put him in a purple put this guy in a flat or uh, in a hook does not matter but um, just mix in the coverage mix in the coverage and uh, because the deep blue zones it always goes up like even if it's a run play it always goes up even if you don't pass commit right here I'll show you the re uh, replay of this guy he's supposed to be in a deep blue and uh, it's a run play but he starts dropping back as everyone else just stays down that's what happens when you do uh, deep blue zones uh, they just automatically go to deep blue so if you put them in a curl fly right here they'll wait they'll sort of wait and then they'll go so right there, it's stuffed. I still have to run a little bit more, but pinch a bunch tight end. It's kind of a hard formation to stop, and um, yeah. So uh, you could even press. So sometimes I'll even just keep it, keep the Scott, keep the guys like this, and uh, right there, uh, it's stuffed to run much better when you press, and uh, you just leave it the same. You just gotta sort of live with this. Like I've been living and I've been uh, using this defense for a while. And it's been getting, or it's been pretty successful in my opinion. So I mean, um, yeah, just just hold him to a third third down situation, third and five. If they decide to run it, then it's probably gonna be like a fourth and three, fourth and two. But if they decide to pass it, then that's the situation you want them to be in. And um, yeah, we're going to halfback counter. Now, for you ultimate team guys, the only way you could get this formation is if you get the 4-6 playbook, and people be putting that up for so much. So, I'll show you guys another alternate defense that you guys could probably run. This is halfback counter. And um, right there, you guys see the safety comes across the backfield and gets him. And, um, yeah, so... Spread D-line, uh, edge rush, all that jazz. 
Um, I'd even put this guy in another flat and put this guy in a hook zone that way, or even blitz this guy that way. The nickelback just comes straight through, and the outside linebacker right here, he automatically starts going to the left. Now, uh, just neutral the middle linebacker again, and uh, just stuff the run just like that. Uh, yeah, just stuff the run. I mean, I keep saying this, but that's all you can really do in this situation. Um, so flat, like press, all that jazz. Um, and yeah, just use the middle linebacker. Uh, try not to over pursue and wait, hold for the block sheds too. So that's that. And uh, I was gonna show you guys, oh yeah, the ultimate two guys. For you who, don't, who can't get the four six playbook, another alternate is the four three, oh, I, don't, I guess I have now the four three wide nine. Or sometimes I like to go to 4-3 stack. So we'll go into strong power real quick. Went to strong power, 4-3 stack, just do cover through sky. And what I do is I pinch the line down and uh, crash the middle line or crash the linebackers in. And you guys might say like, what? That that's not right, or you can't really stop the defense. Well, sometimes. Uh, when I play ultimate team and uh, they run and I don't have the big nickel bear formation sometimes this works um, I don't know why don't argue with me but <laughs> sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't you just gotta hope for the best and um, yeah I mean look at that it's you automatically stuff the run and we'll look at the instant replays and exactly what happens so right here as you guys can see like you start, you guys see the two pulling guards and everyone stacked up in the middle so you can't there's nowhere to run on the middle and look at your line look at the linebackers that right at no the left outside linebacker right there number 54 and the middle linebacker Sean Lee they pursue the running back in the best way possible and the lineman that he can't hold on to the block he can't hold on to the strong safety so that automatically gets rid or that automatically gets a man free so you could even just bring this guy down a couple steps and uh, you know what let's run to the left side let's run to the left side and uh, we'll see what happens pursue the ball carrier once again um, it's not always the best run defense but it's an alternate for a defense that you can't get so just bring this guy out if you feel superstitious or something. So um, make this defense look weird and awkward for your opponent to run on. And uh, you'll be good to go right there. Uh, the strong safety can't tackle, but you know, you guys see the general idea. So anyways, thanks for watching guys. This is a nice little run defense that I like to run. And um, I'll show you what I do for under center. Now, if I know, you're, if I know the opponent's gonna run and start running under center, um, this this playbook doesn't really have the eye formation I wanted, but anyways, we'll go into anything. So weak zone, single back deuce, weak zone, and uh, what I'll do is I'll come out and this is a custom playbook by the way, but um, four six bear and cover three drops. So what I do is I automatically show blitz. Now you guys will notice that the cornerbacks they don't press. They come down a couple steps, but they don't press. And this is basically what the defense, the defense you want. You could even use Big Nickel Bear, but it's all up to you. So what this play is weak zone, right? And uh, just pursue the ball carrier correctly, and you'll be good to go. Right there, I didn't do a good job, but you guys see the general idea. Anyways, this video is mainly for pistol and he's saying like the strong powers and halfback counters. So anyways, thanks for watching guys. I hope you guys enjoy. Um, I hope this sort of clarified on your run defense that you guys can run. If not, just let me know down in the comments below if you guys have any more questions and uh, I'll try to answer them in a video or in the comment section the best I can. I know I haven't been really reply replying to comments, but I, start, I will start since I have two weeks for the break thing. Anyways, thanks for watching guys. I hope you guys enjoy and I'll see you guys next time.